PBM started out as a non-ferrous foundry serving the steel industry in 1899. At that time it was called Pittsburgh Brass Manufacturing. About 19, in the 1950s, the company, in order to get into some pr proprietary products, got into the valve business, where, and primarily they're ball valves, but we have a few products that are other uh, types of valves. Uh, we serve a variety of industries. Uh, we have a uh, large market position in uh, valves for the utilities in pharmaceutical and, bi and uh, biotech plants. We also do very well in the consumer products uh, kinds of companies, uh, things like laundry detergents and soaps and toothpaste and perfumes, things of that nature. And uh, but we're diversified far beyond that in, in that we do still have some of the original products for the steel industry. We have a few products that we still make out of cast iron, but uh, we have uh, and carbon steel, stainless steel, uh, bronze, aluminum, and then we get into uh, uh, special alloys like duplex stainless, uh, hastaloy, titanium. In 2012, uh, we had a the largest order our company's ever had, and we had to go outside for subcontract and subcontract some of the machining. And we found some very good uh, suppliers for subcontract machining here in the uh, Western Pennsylvania area. And uh, one in particular was using uh, Mazak Integrex machines. I had a good number of those and they did a, a fine job for us. Uh, we uh, got interested in uh, these machines, uh, went to the tool show in 2012 and uh, we came away from that with three or four different brands in mind and we contacted uh, them. Uh, the end result of that was that we bought our uh, first Mazak product, which was the Mazak Integrex 400. And uh, we received that in uh, March of uh, 2014. One of the things that that we do that helps our business a lot is responding very quickly with shorter lead times than a lot of the industry. So uh, we recognize that by buying a machine with 120 tool capacity, uh, we would be minimizing the setups uh, and uh, be able to respond more quickly to our customers and frankly at reduced cost. That compared to our prior methods, which we would be where we might have, if we have one setup, which on the on the Mazak Integrex, uh, we uh, we might have four setups uh, between mills and lathes uh, by the prior methods. Currently, we're machining a. It's not a large order. It's uh, I believe four valves, but it's these are four and six inch valves and. Uh, we had to turn around the whole order within about a, a three to four week period and uh, we're doing it.